Good day, my wonderful people. Good day, my friends out there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Only Blessed. For people that have not watched my YouTube before, this is my first time actually. I'm coming up on YouTube to be able to introduce to you guys the Gele tutorial. I'm going to teach you the easiest form, the easiest way that you can be able to tie your Gele without the assistance of anybody. A lot of people have been finding it a lot difficult to tie their Gele. A lot of styles have been trading out there which you might look at it and say, ah, how am I going to do this? You'll be looking for how to learn your styles on how to tie your belly. But I'm going to bring this easiest and simple way that you can be able to tie your belly. If you can be able to pay and watch the way I'm doing it, you can see that you can tie your belly very easy. You can tie any style you want to tie very easy. If you follow this procedure, which is a very evil, easy and simple procedure, no. your belly. First of all, I'm going to be showing you this is belly that I'm going to be using to, to teach you guys on how to tie your gele. This is Ashoke. I know a lot of us outside there knows what Ashoke is. This is Ashoke. So I'll be using this Ashoke to teach you guys on how to tie a beautiful, lovely gele that you can use for your occasions. Paint bucket I'll be using to show you on how to tie your gele. The easiest and simple way. So in your house, in anywhere, you can sit down and tie your gele. Very easy. Please guys, I will just pray and I would like you guys to just pay more attention on how I will be teaching you in this particular style. So please, as you watch my video, don't forget to subscribe for your sister. Don't forget to thump up for me. Don't forget to like my video. I promise you that I will come in on, on board. Subsequent videos will be coming. I'll be teaching you a lot of styles, many styles that when you look at it outside there, I'll just be saying, ah, who did this for you? I'm telling you that if you finish watching me, if you watch my video and listen attentively, follow me up the way I'm doing this. You can tie any style of your, your desire, any style you like, any style you wish to tie for yourself. So this is the gele, the bucket I that I explained to you early. Now, this is the materials you are going to use in order to make sure that you get this gele very very perfect as you are tying make sure that you have what we call trade this is trade this is tailoring trade yes this is a tailoring trade you have to get your needle this is your needle at least you can get about two or three needles make them available i'm showing you how to be able how you're going to uh, put your trade so this trade now is what we are going to use to stitch this girl yes this is your scissors you have to have a scissors this is the scissors they are going to use to cut up the 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 trim the thread that we use to to stitch the gede. Yes, this is your scissors. This is your thread, and secondly, the needle you'll be using. Fine. Now, this thread, we are going to turn this thread this way. We are going to make it in three parts. That's one, one, two. Then you turn it again. To get it in three folds these three folds we have here is going to give us six folds six folds of the tray why you're going to why am i why you are, I, I advise you to use it this way is that so that as the more you are stitch, you are, you are stitching your your gele the trade will not be able to cut off so now you can see that this is the tree and by the time you turn it up again you put your needle you pass the six parts you can see that the, the thread now is more thicker than when we folded it the first time. So with this now, you can be able to trade, you can be able to stitch your gele pro properly and perfectly. And it will not get loosed. Yes. So now you are getting it up to six. You use your scissors and trim it off. Now we have our thread ready. We're using the same color of the gele so that nobody will notice that this is the way you stitch it on this, this is the place you join it after making this girl you'll see that you'll not even be able to find out where we join and where we stopped so this is the trade and this is the girl now what i'll be teaching on is 
fan gele. Half part fan gele. Half part fan gele. So now, this is the front of the gele. This is the front. So this front will be folding it, please, in two inches. Two inches from the mouth, from the tip. Two inches in. Two inches. This is two inches in. You fold it. You fold it. You fold it to the extremely end of it. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is it. Now take your bucket. Place your bucket on top of the gele in this way. Place it in this way. Make sure that the 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 the, the, the front of the bucket that the open side is facing you inside because that is exactly where the head of the where we make out the head. So the, the, the front of the bucket will be facing you inside. Now you measure this gele because we are saying we are going to make it half fan. Half fan. So, you measure it in a way that the right hand side will be longer than the left hand side. It's not going to be equal. It's not going to be equal size. Now you can see the way I fold it on this bucket. Fold it on this bucket. now this is the measurement i might say 60 by 40 or 40 by this but you might not be able to understand that is why i'm showing you practical aspect of it this is the way the 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 girl is going to be you can see that the right hand side is longer than the left hand side yes the right hand side is longer than the left hand side so this time around we have folded the girl this is the way i fold it i put i make sure that the gele. This particular bucket, uh, pocket parts, we hold the gele so it cannot be able to cross over. That is the reason why I said there are some buckets you will use. We use the paint bucket, the paint bucket that have these, these parts, these patterns, so that the gele will not be able to slip off from the bucket. This, um, um, what do you call it? This particular part of the bucket now is the one that is going to hold this gele, not to shift off from the bucket. Now, you have gotten the gele. On the bucket so what we need to do now is now use your thread to stitch it so that it will be very firm yes to stitch it here so now I'm going to stitch you stitch it stitch it make sure you stitch it stitch it so that it will be very firm on the bucket it will not be able to slip off from the bucket yes Stitch it. Stitch it. Stitch and tight it to make it firm. You can see I have stitched, and you see the way it is. Even if when you do it, turn it this way, the girl will not be able to slip out from the bucket. Now I have gotten it rinsed very, very well. Now that I have stitched. So all you need to do now is still place the bucket on your body and still allow the front to face you in and begin to make your plinth. This time around, I'm going to start making my start forming my plinths. So now, this is the first plinth I'm making. Just pick up the gather from the bucket and shift it. You shift it. Shift it this way as well. Make sure you arrange it. That is the plinth we are making. Allow it to come up properly. Properly. Yes. You make the first plinth. You pick up another one again. This is the second plinth. As you are plinting, please watch your plinth. Make sure that your plinth looks very neat and smooth. That is the way when, I, when you finish tying your belly, you see that your belly looks very, very beautiful. When you do not form your plinth properly, at the end of the day, the front side of the belly will not look neat and fine so now i form the plinth that's 
the first one which is attached to the pockets first print second print i'm making it now third print with the first one now i still want to make another print again so but base when your gala is very short if it's not i still want to make another one because most time i always like my gala to have more plates yes because the plates always make it to look beautiful on her hair so i made another plate i made another plate made another plate now i've gotten i've gotten one two three four five that is five plates you can see the way i form the plates on the bucket this time around what you are going to do you gather the plates all together to where you started from where you joined the gala this is where we join the gala make sure you arrange your plate properly arrange it arrange it properly arrange it gather them together arrange it get them properly arranged now you can see that i have arranged them to the first place with joined it now as you arrange it together what you're going to do now you will use your thread to stitch them to join them together as well now you are stitching stitch it yes stitch it it very firm you can see that it's firm now the two gala have have made your plates you have joined them together yes now what you're going to do follow me up please and watch what i'm doing here now you're going to pick up the right side of the gala this is the right part i told you earlier you're going to pick it now remember that your plates have already been made so now you are going to follow it one after the other so you can be able to form this fan we are going to have here so now what you're going to do now is this you cross it over this way remember the left hand side is the one inside of the bucket you try to bring it this form in form of the bucket in front this is the bucket you bring it this way and you turn this right hand side you turn it cross it over to the left hand side that is how we are now going to make form our fan Now we are forming our fan. This is the fan I'm forming now. I pick it this way. The first print, I pick it. The second one, I pick it as well. The third one, I pick the print. The fourth print, I pick it. And the lastly, that's the fifth print. I have picked it. You can see the way I pick them, one after the other them one after the other you try to use this particular hand which is your left hand side to arrange them to gather them and arrange them gather them this way and arrange them now we are going to form the fan as you gather them arrange them together take your hand a little bit inside bring down pick the gala from up here and bring it down in V form V form this way as if you're forming a V form from the start of the gala you hold it then you arrange it again you are going to be picking it one after the other you arrange it then you pick the next one again this is the next one in as if you are covering your hand in V form is not going to be straight in V form 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 yes we are going we are going we are arranging it still going as you're going you still arrange the plate of the first ones we are still arranging them now still go ahead pick up another one again and Good. Yeah, we are making progress. We are going. We are going. Arrange it. 
you arrange it, you arrange it. You still form another fold. Remember I told you in V form. As you fold, you drag. You will see that as you are forming it, the girl is not equal. It's curving this way. That's the way it's coming in slight form. So you are sliding it in order to get our hand fan properly. Yes. Go ahead. You go ahead. You still fold it. Fold it. And lastly, this is the last folding just made. Now you release your gele. You release it. You can see the fan. That's not just the end. So we have gotten the fan side of it, the one side fan of the gele. So what you are going to do now is this. Make sure you do not allow it to to to, to be to fall off. So you arrange your fan, arrange them properly, and use your trade. That is the reason why I say you have to make sure you have your trades ready. Make sure your trades are ready. Now use your trade and stitch it from here where you stopped the print. Follow the inside part so that nobody will notice where how you stitch your gele. So you stitch it from here. We are stitching it. And my fan have been formed. You can see that the fan have been formed on the bucket. Yes. You can see it from the beginning. It have been formed. It have been formed. The half parts of the fan have been formed. Yes. So now we are going to be taking the other left side of the gele. So now We'll be taking it to be in auto and use it in auto form or you can equally make it in twist form so this time around you are going to be picking the left side this is the left side of the gele this is the left side of the gele so now instead of twist we are going to be forming auto auto gele that's one part should be Printed auto, and the other side will be half fan and half. It's what will give you the best result. But when it's not properly arranged, you will not be able to get a good result. Now, I've gotten the five part of the gele we formed early as the five plates. As the five plates made early, so I'll be making subsequent plant on it so how do we make our subsequent plant we we'll continue to plant from here continue planting to continue your plants to continue your plants continue your plants and get the final plant which is this the final plant which is this As a final plate which is this so now what you will do you start arranging them one after the other you arrange them one after the other you're arranging them one after the other you can see that plant we are going to silent this. We're going to silent it. We use this particular one not to form a beautiful rose here. So the auto auto have been formed. I formed the auto, so it's now for us to to finish the remaining part of it. The leftover of the, the the fan, there is a leftover, that's this side of it, the leftover and the leftover of the creative. 
when you start doing it you can see that you a lot of ideas will be coming up and you will try to make sure you get a, a beautiful outcome yes so now i'm trying to get what we call rose flower small rose flower here i form this This girl that we are talking about is all about creativity. When you when you have gotten the steps on how to do your tie your girl, you can sit down and compose a particular style. That okay, let me try this and let me try to make a this and see if how it's going to come. That is exactly the way I always form my girl. I don't look at what people tie. I try to like try to be uh, uh, creative. Try to okay, let me uh, let me try this. By trying that, you can see that you can be able to get at a beautiful and a lovely. Yes. Now we have gotten the our fan. We have gotten our auto and our rose which is the one that is in the front here so now we are going to do the finishing part of it the finishing part is what we are i'm taking you guys on now this is the up part of your hair that is where your head sometimes you know when you make your hair there are some people that they like their galette to be open but some of them like me myself i normally like it to be closed because one is it's served in two directions. When you're when you're when you did not make your when you don't have a beautiful hair, or for instance, you didn't make up your hair and you, you needed to go out, you need to go somewhere and you need to put on gele. So this closure, this particular closure I'm going to show you guys now serves to whether you do fix your hair or you make you plate your hair or when your hair is rough, when you did not even plate or fix your hair, you can still make use of your gele. And nobody will notice that your you didn't make your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Here. just as if you are forming a plate as well when you are forming you have already gotten the up closed and you still have an opening at the back see this is where you remove your hair from this is where your hair is going to come out from when you close this place i'm going to to stitch it now i'm going to stitch this up now this is how the up looks like. I'm going to stitch it now. You can equally open your your gele, but then, then the, my next my next stitch it, beautify it. Make sure you beautify it. Try to not look rough or bad. I beautify it. This is our gele. This is our gele. The gele now is ready. But before you put it on your hair, you are going to still do small adjustments. Why you are going to do this adjustment is that so that when you place it on your hair, it's, it will not be shifting. This is the inside. We are going to stitch this inside. We are going to stitch this inside so that the inside will be neat. It's not going to be pulling, pulling off. So we are going to stitch this inside. I'm going to show you how to stitch this inside. So now you use your, still use your, your, your needle and your thread from inside. Stitch. Stitch from inside. So when you stitch it, it will join it together with the, the other one. You stitch you cut because this stitching you are making now is going to be because there is a way where we found our tree you can see this place if you didn't stitch it it will it will be opening from here so that is exactly what i don't want it to happen so that what you're going to do now you have to match them together by using your tree to match this side to this to this See it. Pass it again. We stitch now. All of them are now attached together. That's exactly how we are going to do it round. So now we are going to be putting what we call adjustments. So this is the adjustment now. I'm going to put the adjustment. The adjustment you are going to put it from the back of the gele. This is where we started from. This is the joint. We are we will sew it from the beginning from the bucket so that is where you're going to put your adjustment the adjustment all about adjustment is the adjustment is what, what adjustment means is they are they are going to use the trade to in to 
to fix at the back of the, the girl. In case some people that their hair is very small and some of them that their own that is very big. But for the, and in fact, it really works for those that their hair are very small. So when you put this adjustment, it's going to help you now to tight the girl to the size of your head so that you cannot, it will not be able to pull off again. So that's exactly what I'll be showing you guys on how to do it. This is the trade. Exactly the way I taught you how to fix your trait. It's going to be six. When you count it, it's going to be six. So it can be thick. So we are going to pass it in twice form. That's it. going to pass it in the first one and second one, which is going to make it 12 each. So that 12 will make it to be thick so that it will not be able to cut off when you are tightening it at the back of your hair. So now I'm going to fix it. Please look at the way, the way I fix it. I'm going to pick it from here. This is where I'm picking it from. This is where the girl starts. So I'm picking it from here. Two out of the plates. That's where I pick it from. I will pass it to this side. I'm still going to pass it to the other side of the girl. At the same point, you can see it. I've passed it. So as I've passed the first one, I'm still going to pass it again. The second one, which is going to make it to be 12. When you count the trade so i'll pass it to be double now you can see it it is double now it's double i've passed it to be double i pass the girl to be top the trade to be double so now when you pass it when you pass it you drag the trade to be equal you use your scissors and cut it off from here then make sure you tight it this way so that the trade will not be removed from the girl if you tight it make a knot on the head of the trade so even when you drag it this way even when you drag the trade you see this 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 particular place you tight it we hold it not to pull off still bring it this way so now our girl is ready ready to fix on our head the girl now is ready so now i'll be fixing it on my head so i will look the way look and see how the outcome of the girl how the girl looks like i pray that is going to be now our girl is ready i'll be fixing this girl on my head so that you see the final outcome of our girl first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to pack my hair up that's the way i pack it up so that it can be able to enter the girl First, you'll be using your hands to put at this place so that you can be able to carry up your hair. The hair you make. Now, this is my hair. I'm bringing it out from here. I'm going to bring it out. Pass the girl properly so that it will enter my hair. To enter my hair. Adjust it well. Adjust it well. This the trade. That's the adjustment I told you earlier. Going to fix it, allow it to enter properly. That's properly. Then you are going to make use of this adjustment now to tight it to the size of your hair. So now I'm going to tight it to the size of my hair. Now I'm tight. Make sure I tight it to be firm so that even when you jump up, your girl will still be there for you. So I'm tightening it. I'm trying to tight it. That's what I'm doing. I see the way I'm tightening it from the back. Tight it. Make sure you tight it properly. Tight the thread. So I'm tightening the thread now from the back. I've tightened it. Then I'll hide the the remaining stuff of the thread hide it inside that nobody will see the what you use now you adjust your girl now, this is the adjustment make sure you shift it inside that because that's the beauty of your girl when you shift your girl inside the beauty will come out now you are you arrange your fan you can see the way i arrange my fan can't you see that our girl is ready now please my fellow viewers my wonderful people you can see that you can make your gele without even asking anybody to assist you you can see that you can make your gele sit down in your house in your shop in your any business area in your own convenient time 
bring out your gallet, tie your gallet. If you can be able to follow this procedure, the steps and steps I showed you guys, you can see you can make up, form up out a wonderful and beautiful gallet. Half fan, auto, and rose gallet. By the special grace of God, I'll be uploading my videos. Subsequent ones will be coming. I'll be showing you different styles of gele. Your hand fan, your auto, your rose, the ones you can be able to use to go out for your occasions. If you have your English wear, you can use your gele for a beautiful rose. You are set for your occasions. And you look smart and beautiful. Remember, you guys like the gele and you enjoy my video. My name still remains only blessed. Please, don't forget to like my video. Don't look, forget to thump up for your sister. And don't forget to subscribe. As you subscribe, may God bless you all. This is where I'll be leaving you guys for today. That's the killing. That's the killing. That's the wonderful outcome. That's it. That's the inside and the back of the killing. That's the under, this is the front, these are rows, and this is the half auto. Thank you, thank you, God bless you, I love you all. Thanks, bye for now.